point where he physically cannot lift for another repetition. We want him struggling, struggling, and struggling, but he can't lift it because he's recruited every single muscle fiber. Now, at the end of this sequence here, we're going to tell you why that's so valuable. Now, what Sam's going to do is immediately after the single joint movement, he's going to climb right up to the chin bar and do a 60-second negative only chin. It's called a post-exhaust because we're going from a single joint to a multi-joint movement. It's a grueling, grueling post-exhaust here. So as you see, he's starting to get a little bit tired here. We want him to get to that point where he's trying to pull up and the, and the bar just isn't moving anymore. The research study that we're going to talk about with this demonstration right here is an article from the Journal of Exercise Physiology that compares the difference between momentary muscle failure and not training to fatigue and why that's so important in raising your energy expenditure during the workout and beyond the workout, even up until the next two days after. That's it. Keep going. Okay. We want to let him struggle just a little bit here. Right now, Matt Hedman is thinking, geez, why is, why are the arms not <laughs> Barely, barely helping him. He's going to control the negative because he's stronger on that part. Two more here, Sam. Two more. Pull up all you got. Fast and tight here. Perfect. Act like you're pulling up on the way down. One more. One more. Don't save anything. You notice I'm barely helping him here. I'm really letting so him struggle. Top. Finish it off, Sam. Get it, Sam. All the way to the top. One more pull. Slowly coming down. Slowly, slowly. Not Sam. Gotcha. All right. So he's going to climb right over to the chin bar here. Yes, sir. Sam. Starting Let's at the very Let's top. Go. So Sam's going to take 60 seconds to lower himself here. The entire time. He's not going to just let himself fall. He's going to act like he's pulling up as he's extending his elbows and arms and shoulders. Sam. Keep on lowering, Sam. Sam. 15 seconds in. Try to move down a little bit quicker here, Sam. We want to be at a 90 degree elbow bend when he's at 30 seconds. There you go, Sam. Come on, Sam. You got that sleeveless shirt. Show the guns off. 30 seconds in. Perfect pacing. Sam. Sam, let's go now. Keep lowering, Sam. Keep lowering. Hang on. Hang on. Climb right back up. Get 20 Here seconds. Here we go, Sam. Come on now. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. That's right. Climb right back up. Let's go. Finish. Counting off 15 go. right here. Hang on. Go. Go. 15. Go. 15. Go. 14. Pull up 13. 12. 11. Last 10 seconds. You got it, Sam. 10. Spring break. 9. 8. 7. Pull up 6. 5. You'll finish this. 3. Two, and relax. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen because he went to momentary muscle failure and didn't worry about just doing three sets of ten reps and possibly still having some muscle fibers that weren't completely broken down, his energy expenditure is going to be elevated almost up to 10% over the next two days here. There's actually a Wayne Westcott study that some of you might have read before that's not actually listed in that pamphlet, but that's from that as well. So thanks, you guys. Thank you.